Uh, and it says, uh, come on, the hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley. And it was full of bones. Then it caused me to pass by them all around. And behold, they were very, there were many in the open valley. And indeed, they were very dry. And he said to me, son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, oh, Lord God, you know, this is our response when God is asking us a prophetic rhetorical question. God already knows the answer, but he's waiting for you to give him the right response. And the response in this hour is not left up to the responsibility of God, but is left up to the breath. Oh, my God. It is left up to the revelation that is attached to your connection to the mind of God that says, yes, God, these dry bones can live, not oh Lord only you know again he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them oh dry bones hear the word of the Lord thus says the Lord God to these bones surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live can I tell you that in the realm of the spirit some of us are sitting and we are looking anorexic oh my God we are beholding Holding ourselves in the mirror and we ain't got no meat on our bones we don't have the good we're frail we're fragile and any little thing that touch us we break and we bend but can I tell you the spiritual revelation behind it was not just about the army coming into a great exceedingly great army but it was about God putting maturity And I tell you, God's going to clothe you in maturity. We just read in Hebrews chapter 5 that God says that those that are on milk and not meat are unskillful. They are babes. They have mishandled the righteousness of God. And I tell you in this hour that God is calling all of us as sons into a place of maturity where we no longer can pick and choose our obedience. Where we no longer can pick and choose our convenience. Where we no longer can pick and choose our assignment. Where we no longer can pick and choose who we're going to love. Where we can no longer delegate and negotiate with God. He said, prophesy to these bones and say to them, oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And I tell you, you are about to hear the word of the Lord in such a capacity that's going to cause every dry area and every dry place in your life to begin to shape shift. And I tell you, everything in your life that resembled dryness, that resembled death, that resembled unproductivity. Come on, everything that looked like it was not coming together. If you get in the spirit on the Lord's day. And begin to prophesy. And let me say this. this, What was so uh, powerful that God began to speak to me. He said, man does not understand. I literally heard the voice of the Lord say this to me. He said, man does not understand that even when I created them in the beginning. When I breathed the breath of life. When I breathed the Ruaki and winds into them. And they became a living soul. A living being. The breath did not disappear. Do you understand that in the realm of the spirit that you are still carrying the Ruachian winds of the breath of God? That's why when you open your mouth, everything that's in the atmosphere must bow to you. Why? Because the breath of God is being released. So now it causes me to understand why the cares of life and why the things that even we all have experienced in life have come to try to choke or suffocate. The the seed, but not just the seed, but the breath of God. Because if I can ever, if the enemy could ever put you in a chokehold. That he understands that everything that's attached to your assignment, attached to your DNA, attached to your lineage will be affected. It will be sabotaged. It will be aborted. That's why you can afford to lose your breath. So he says prophesy 
prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin. Can I tell you that where you have been thin skinned, God is getting ready to give you thick skin. Some of you are so emotional that you are emotionally moved by every little thing that comes your way because you ain't got no thick skin. But can I tell you, those of us who are maturing, the things that used to affect us yesterday don't affect us today. How can I tell that you're coming into a place of maturity when you don't respond the same way that you used to respond? Those of us who understand psychology, we understand that there are different stimulations. There are different things that will come to test your reflexes. When you go to the doctor and you get a physical and you sit on that, that uh, uh, bench, he takes an instrument and he, he bangs your knees to see how well your reflexes are. And can I tell you that every test that you are experiencing in this season, it is only the spirit of God coming with a mallet, testing your ability to properly respond respond even in my life I begin to, to see the spirit of God bringing me through times of testing and, and there, were, there were times that I wanted when I tell you I've always been a very strong personality I'm the nicest thing that you could ever meet but if you cross me the wrong way baby this beauty is going to turn into a beast and let me tell you something there are times in my life there are things that come across there are things even today God showed me something and, and I said God I want to address but he said no he said I want you to keep your mouth closed because your mouth is super powerful if you speak for oh my god if you speak before time and you speak out of turn then the same judgment of the things that you release now i gotta touch you with it because you're out of order there are so many prophetic voices that are out of order they're releasing things that god ain't told them to speak to they're addressing things that they have no authority to speak to oh my god this is why there's so much chaos we wonder why we're a body that can't stand erect. Come on. There's a scientific term that is related to the genome of humanity and it is called uh, uh, homo erectus, homo sapiens. We are known as homo sapiens, but there was a time that we were known as homo erectus, which means man that walks upright. Can I tell you that this is the hour and the season where we're no longer going to be encrouched. Come on. We're no longer going to be resistant resembling palsies and resembling deficiencies but we're going to begin to walk upright surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you cover you with skin not just any kind of skin but thick skin and put breath in you and you shall live come somebody shout come on stand up on your feet and begin to tell speak out in the atmosphere I shall live I shall live I shall live I will not die I will not allow come on y'all need to begin to declare this atmosphere because you know you've been going through hell you know the enemy has been trying to suffocate you you know that you have been affected by things that have come to distract you. You know. Father, even right now, I bind the spirit that comes to snatch their breath. There are breath snatchers. Come on. There are breath snatchers that have been grabbing at your, your spiritual lungs, your, your capacity to breathe in, to inhale and exhale the breath of God. But I come to you tonight as an apostle, as a prophet of God, and I begin to release corporately over this atmosphere that everything that came to snatch your breath is being snatched. For the Lord of hosts, oh my God, the Lord of hosts has come to fight for you. I'm telling you, continue to stand because even as I'm, 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 I'm speaking this word, God is moving. He said, I will put sin you on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And this is the issue. Many of us have been prophesying on demand, but not on coming. Prophesying, speaking on demand at the demands of the people. At the request of the people. 
There are times when people approach me and they say, you know, prophetess, is there a word from the Lord? Baby, if God ain't gave me no word for you, I can't release it. Because the word will become illegal. Y'all got to stop wanting...